Hi you guys, as I uh, just finished the haul, um, I realized that I really forgot about my ALF haul. <laughs> um, right now they're having like, well they've been having specials like $25 um, free shipping. There's no tax and so I mean you can buy $25 worth of stuff and have it, you know, shipped to you and it gets here really quick. So I'm just going to go over with you the things that I forgot in my last haul. So I got from e.l.f. a contour brush and I got the fan brush which is really soft and I have to say for the amount of money um, they're really good. I got a C brush, I got a small precision uh, brush which I'm going to use as a lip um, for my Inglot lip palette. Um, I got, oh, I got another C brush, okay, and I got a, I don't know what brush this is, but it's like a flat shadow brush, um, crease brush, <coughs> A blending brush and they're pretty soft I'd have to say I got a complexion brush and I really really love this super soft um, eyeshadow brush a blush brush and I got the lip gloss um, Fairy, which is a very, I don't know, it's not really pink, but it does look like an iridescent pink. It's the Elf Hyper Shine. So, it's, yeah, it's just more like um, a really white light color. Then I forgot to mention, um, for my bath and body haul, I've really been loving this coconut mango lip gloss. Um, I did get the Hawaiian Chop It from, I was watching a YouTube video and she was swearing by it in her, either it was her most reached for or her favorites, but she's from Egypt. She's really pretty. It starts with a D, like do I didn't want to get it wrong, but yeah. So um, I ordered the Hawaiian Tropics. That should be coming any day, so I'm going to see how that works. And it has an SPF, so that's always good. Um, but I didn't, in my drugstore haul, with my polishes, because I did um, show you guys in the last one, I got this color, which is a very, if you're looking for like a true peach, this is it and it's called polished by Revlon and the Essie in um, French Affair and it is a true lavender like that's it right there see that color it's all chipped because my nails are all messed up and then when I was on eBay my daughter was bidding on a couple of um she's 11 so she's into all these little glittery I don't know, she got blue and silver and this color, which is like a pink. Um, it's just like chunky glitter. And so, um, yeah, before my surgery, she had some other one on there, but then we did them over and she put this, this one on. Um, but I, um... You know, I was trying to, I love Trace by Chanel and I love Galapagos by NARS. But they're like 20 some dollar shadows. So, um, the Swiss, um, chocolate, which has like little flecks of, um, gold in it. Um, this was like $3, so I got another one because I have one right now and, um, it was on sale. And then, um, from NYX, um, these are pretty similar too. You can see the gold flecks in it. Um, I wouldn't say they're duped, they don't last as long, even with the base, 
but um, hey, if I can just darken it up when I really want that smoky eye, um, they'll do the trick. And um, so, um, let's buy one, get one free. So one is in um, Gypsy. I know they look similar, but they're really not. This is Gypsy. And this one is um, Amber. And this one has a little bit more glitter. Um, I did get a Nar, um, Nars, I'm sorry. I did get a uh, Elf, um, oh my goodness, blush, and I lost it. It is like passion something. It's like a really bright pink. I would compare it to Nars Desire. Um, but I can't find it. So I have no idea if we threw it out with, you know, all the wrapping that came with the brushes and everything. But, um, I had gotten these with, um, my order from Sephora, which I'm still, okay, I ordered from Hot, Hot Look, I don't know, however you guys want to pronounce it. Um, I did get some Rockin' Republic, um, eyeshadows from there. I got Sabotage and Veil, um, for like $8 a pop versus I think they're retail 28 plus tax so I'm um, waiting on those I'm also waiting on um, the 75% off annual sale from Bath and Body because I got a whole bunch of stuff from there um, Sephora because I did get this bronzer right here this is like a sample they sent me with my order and it is the Guerlain um, Terracotta Bronzer. So, um, it's moisturizing. I like that kind of. Um, you know, I'm in, um, I don't know. I'm into trying different bronzing things right now. So since I am going to faux tan, you know, once I'm feeling better. Because I just had surgery. And um, it is pretty painful. And I'm trying not to take any, um, like, heavy narcotics. So I'm just taking like um it's stronger than like your regular motrain or something but it's not you know not like percocet or vicodin you know i'm trying to stay away from that like i don't smoke drink or um you know even drink caffeine um so i'm trying to do that right now um so i still do have you know pain but it's tolerable and last week by this time I was in the ER because they had let me go on Saturday and by today I was thought I was going to die but thank god I'm okay so this is like the sample they gave me like I don't know if you can see it but you know it's rather small I mean it's not all fat you know with a lot of product but seriously I did my face um let me see if I can kind of show you. Oh, yeah. Okay, see how it's like sticking to the cardboard? Okay, I'm going to grab it. And I'm going to, you can see it on my finger right there. And I'm going to put it right here on my hand. And I'm just going to rub it in. And that's just the simplest, like, color it gives you. It's nothing big. Um, it's supposed to be like... It's just a healthy glow second skin effect. It's supposed to be like the glow of a foundation, but it's just to even out your complexion and give you, you know, a sun kissed glow. And I absolutely love this. I just tried it today. So I want to make sure I don't break out or, you know, I have, you know, um, combo skin. And then I got that big Guerlain Inca thanks to Ray Review that um, made me do the purchase because she had such a re good review on it that um, I just had to try it. And um, I also loved um, what she was using on her brows. I usually use your um, Universal Brow um, Definer or um, Trish McEvoy. I used to use um, like Maybelline and all that, but I haven't tried them for a while, um, just because they changed them, you know, they used to be red, and 
Um, you just went by the color, and there wasn't that many colors, and now they're different packaging, so I'm just kind of scared. And you can't really try them there at the drugstore, so I guess that's why I'm getting more higher end, because at Sephora, or wherever you get it, you can return it. Um, but yeah, definitely, um, and the other thing right now, since it is summer and you don't want to wear a whole lot, like, I use the Kors brand, um, as my, like, you know, um, skincare, so, um, and then I exfoliate with the exfoliate, and I use Bliss for, you know, when I want to do an oxygen mask, um, but other than that, I'm just trying to take care of my skin in the summer. I don't, I want it to breathe. I don't want to look, um, shiny. And I probably am right now because I'm in California and honestly today it's hot. And, um, that's why I just don't want, like, heavy makeup, you know. I just, I'm not, like, I love makeup, colors, but I don't like heavy foundations. And thank God that I've never had that bad of skin to have to wear, um, like, you know, a full coverage, you know, and maybe they'll make something someday where, you know, something will actually really clear people that have to, you know, cover up, like, rosacea or, you know, pimples or whatever, but, um, I love the Laura Mercier, um, tin moisturizer, and I keep it in here because I just always have bad luck with things opening in my purse, and so... Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna cut this video short, I'm gonna get ready to eat and take my medication because I'm feeling my pain coming on and I get a little grumpy, you know, with my kids and they're like, oh god, stay away from her, but anyways guys, um, if you have any questions on the products I showed, but I mean seriously, I have, honest to god, no foundation, you know, um, I did just do my eyebrows, of course I have, you know, um, base, color, eyeliner, uh, mascara, like, telescopic or something, and a lip gloss, you know, this little $2 Easy Shine, uh, bronzer, a little bit over that, and, um, that Inca, you know, that stuff, I mean, I'm telling you guys, I think you should try it, and I don't feel like it's made me greasy, and I've had it on for at least five hours, so, um, yeah, and you can still use whatever, you know, pressed powder, blotting, uh, papers, blotting powder. Um, because, you know, you're still, I don't care what product it is. It can say it's going to keep you shine free, but you're going to need something. So, um, I hope you like the review or, you know, part two of my haul because I forgot to throw that. I was like, oh, God, I still have this. But, you know, when I was sick, um, I did do a lot of ordering online and I just waited for everything to get here so I could do it all at once. Um, just because I had you know, days where I really didn't feel good. I'm starting to feel a little bit better now, but I get drained really easily. So, like I said, I know I talk too much, and I'm going to cut this short. But anyways, I hope you guys have a great night, and I hope where you're at, it's cool. So, I'll be talking to you soon after I do reviews on the products I got, okay? Talk to you later.